By the way, I'm sorry if you guys can hear 20 different noises in here. It's windy outside. I have the water thing going. I have the fridge going. I have the air on. There's just, there's a lot of noise and I can't stop all of it at once. So I apologize for the noise right now. I think you can hear that thing the loudest. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa and today for you guys, I have gluten-free donuts. Now this recipe is super, super easy out of all the recipes that I've done. By the way, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello. Um, I make a whole bunch of gluten-free stuff. I have holiday things, I have fast food things, I have everything baking, I have, you know, bread, I have beignets, I have brownies, cookies, all of it, you name it, I basically have it. It will all be down in the playlist down below, so go ahead and check it out. But yes, for this video, it's all things donuts, just a simple donut recipe. We're gonna top it with some chocolate, we're gonna put some little sprinkles on it. It's going to be fantastic, and they definitely taste like donuts. Like, there's, there's no missing out. This is easy, it's simple, it's baked. So if you guys are like me, who got other tummy issues on top of having to be gluten-free, um, fried food is just not, in the cards for me so because of that we're going to bake these there's not a lot of oil there's not a lot of anything this is just it's a great freaking recipe so if you guys would like to see how i make gluten-free donuts then go ahead and keep on watching now just like in all of my other videos if i ever go too fast or i miss something make sure that you check the description or i should because i've started putting the measurements on screen so they should also be on but if i do miss anything or you have any questions please feel free to leave them down in the comments. Yell at me if I miss an ingredient or whatever. Um, but to a big bowl, we're going to add some flour, some brown sugar, some baking soda, some baking powder, some salt, and my secret ingredient for the perfect donut type of flavor is nutmeg. I learned this when I was vegan because I used to make baked goods all the time when I was vegan. Nutmeg. Nutmeg, nutmeg, nutmeg. It tastes, it, it gives it that like donut flavor. You know what I'm talking about? Like that, that thing that makes it a donut. So I swear by it, you don't need a lot. I think I did like either a fourth of a teaspoon or an eighth of a teaspoon, but you're gonna not wanna mess with that part at all. Like you're gonna want the nutmeg. So once you put all that in a big bowl, then we're gonna give it a quick whisk, and then we're also going to add the wet ingredients to this. Now, right here, you're gonna see me kind of struggling. Um, just make sure that your brown sugar is more on the soft side because I was struggling with some bigger bits that I had to crunch up by hand. That's what I'm doing right there. So just make sure that your brown sugar is a little more crunched up. Now for the wet ingredients, you're just gonna add it straight to the bowl. You don't need to like put them in a different bowl. You can literally just add them to this bowl. Um, we're going to do eggs. We're gonna do some melted butter. We're also going to do some milk and then we're gonna do some vanilla extract. Now if this mixture is too thick, so you're gonna see my measurement for milk, I think I did like a half a cup, feel free to add more. Now, just go slow. That's the only advice that I'm gonna give on that because if it's too, too thick, you don't want it to be, you know, to where you can't even mix it. But just add like, no joke, maybe even like a teaspoon at a time, maybe a tablespoon if it's too, too thick. Like you see right here, I was struggling a little bit, so I had to add more milk. But just try not to overdo it because we don't want it to be liquidy at all. So just go slow and slow and slow and just keep slowly mixing. Like, see, that was just like a splash. So just do it like that. Do not overdo the liquid because we don't want it to be too runny. We still want it to be a dough. Now, I didn't want to cut this part out because <laughs> I was trying to do a homemade piping bag the way that people do it and my piping bag, bag didn't work. Oh, and by the way, when I use a silicone, um, spatula I usually spray it down with non-stick spray it makes it to where it's so much easier so pro tip but yeah I was trying to be all fancy and be like oh look I'm gonna take a, a baggie and I'm gonna cut the end well my baggie's all weird and it like is cut off at the end already like it's not a perfectly good square it's like a, a weird shape so it didn't really work out for me that well so just get a piping bag if that's what you would like but then you get a donut tray I found this at, I wanna say Target. Um, you can order them online. It's completely up to you. 
and see this is the part where I was messing up but yeah that's how it was coming out you see how it's coming out in two but then I got smart and then I was like ooh so it's coming out in two so I kind of did like a like a I don't want to say a figure eight but I got it to where it was able to like go out and then come together I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in these clips but just get a piping bag don't be like me also don't fill it up as much as I did because you'll see in a little bit that um, they puff up a lot after they're done baking. So I would say probably like half of this. Try not to do too much because yeah, they basically like exploded. Not like completely exploded, but I'm saying like they like tripled in size. So I would say half of this. So yeah, don't do don't fill it to the freaking rim the way that I did. I messed up. But then we're going to throw it in the oven and we're going to cook them for, I want to say it wasn't that long. Uh, I want to say maybe like 10 minutes depending on the thickness. So in my case, I think it was 12 minutes. But if you're going to do less than that, it's going to be um, 10 minutes. But look at that. Look at how gigantic they got. Yeah, there's not even a hole. And then um, I realized that I threw out my cooling rack. So we're going to use a grease splatter protector thing but look at on the other side don't those look like donuts yeah so we're just gonna we're gonna use that side and now on to the sauce you guys have probably seen this in a couple of my videos but we're gonna make our own chocolate like ganache type of sauce if you guys have seen my gluten-free hostess cupcake it's kind of the same thing I did non-dairy chocolate chips there's no reason for it honestly because I'm gonna add milk to it but it's just, it's a little bit easier. I like the way they taste. You guys can use whatever you want. I make my own double broiler. I just get a small pot. I use a glass pan or bowl, bowl I should say, because it, most of the time, I mean, don't, don't trust me on it, but we don't want it to, you know, melt plastic. But I did some lactose free milk. I did some powdered sugar. We did about a cup of chocolate chips. And then I just mix it until it basically just melts. And it turns into lovely, chocolate milk at first and then it turns into like a chocolatey sauce every time I see this it literally reminds me of Willy Wonka if you guys are struggling with this at all um, or it's getting too liquid liquidy you can add more chocolate chips you can add more sugar if it's too thick you can add more milk but just go slow we don't want it to be like chocolate milk and don't go too thick because we do want it to you know coat everything nice and easy but you're basically just going to melt this down until everything is melted and well combined. You'll see it come together. I'm showing you kind of in a slower pace because in some of my other videos I go a little bit faster. So in this one, like I wanted to show you guys kind of how long it actually took. It usually doesn't take long, maybe like two minutes, but I just kind of wanted to show you like it's literally the same thing. I'm just mixing and mixing and mixing and eventually it will melt. Thank God for the double broiler because if not, we will burn this. So you guys can throw this in the microwave if you would like. Um, just do it in like 30 second intervals. We do not want to burn the chocolate. Chocolate is very temperamental, very. And it will burn basically like the moment you, you look away from it, it will burn. But so I'm just letting you guys know, you can either do it this way or you can put it in the microwave. But you see that sauce? That's exactly the texture we want. We want it kind of thick. I did like a little bit of a ribbony type of thing to make sure that it doesn't just like, you know, it's not melted to the point where it's like chocolate milk. And then we're gonna dip it in on the good side, not the bad side, and bam, that's it. That's basically it. You're gonna dip in and twist and then bring up. Now, if you guys don't like chocolate, you guys can do strawberry you guys can do just vanilla like because it's literally just powdered sugar and milk you guys can use white chocolate you can do whatever you want if you guys have like a certain maple sauce that you guys like or like um peanut butter like literally go crazy literally go crazy and then top it with whatever you want any toppings this is your recipe to just go for i always say that recipes are more of a suggestion than anything because make it your own. Have fun with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, these look beautiful. Look at how scrum diddly umptious those look. Yes, but we're gonna add some sprinkles to this. You guys can add nuts, you guys can add chocolate chips, you guys can add coconut, go for it. It's, it's completely open. Let this just be like the blueprint and you guys go for it and make it your own. I hope you guys enjoy these. I did, they're so good and you guys have to give them a try. 
And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. But if not, that's fine. You're welcome back anytime. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If there's anything else you're looking for that's gluten-free or you have any requests for anything that's gluten-free, let me know and I'll try to either make it or do something else with it. Yeah. Bye guys.